all things covid we are back again with all things covid and this time around it's associated with the third wave of covid-19 plenty of questions clearly will a third wave of covid-19 hit india when is it likely all of that is bursting in our heads right now so we've decided to put ourselves at ease uh, getting some answers and we have with us dr abdul gafur who is coordinator chennai declaration on amr Apollo a junk professor and consultant in infectious diseases with Apollo Cancer Institute in Chennai. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Gafur for joining us one more time on all things covid and welcome to the show. Thank you good evening. You know the burning question right now is you know we were told sometime a few months ago that uh, a third wave is imminent. Now it appears that there's not much talk of it. So will a third wave of covid-19 really hit India? What is uh, what is your expert opinion? Predicting a third wave is more difficult than predicting a cyclone mm. or even more difficult than when aliens will land on earth right <laughs> <laughs> i i hope john nash nash the the architect of game theory right is alive today and will be able to help us yeah anyway there are multiple predictions mm-hmm. recently 2 3 weeks ago our niti aayog mm-hmm. made a prediction we are going to have 5 lakh cases a day in the third wave probably right. next month right i have absolutely no idea where the niti aayog got this number uh-huh. there was another prediction from iit kanpur probably two months ago that we will have a third wave and that third wave can have three possibilities one a small bump uh-huh. is likely and then an intermediate wave of probably 1 lakh cases a day right and right. an extreme scenario of up to 5 lakh cases a day Right. Now that five lakh cases a day, in my opinion, is extremely unlikely mm-hmm. unless a highly infectious variant with immune escape emerges. Right. That is very very unlikely, but nothing is impossible with COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. The COVID nineteen is a virus that keep on changing its behavior, sharpening its weapons, and strengthening its armory. We don't know when it's going to strike, and how. and were next time right but such a five lakh cases a day scenario is an extremely unlikely scenario right we may may not have a third wave mm-hmm. and even if you have a third wave that's probably you know maybe one lakh cases a day which mm-hmm. is well manageable by the country right but at the same time you know we need should, we should be prepared it's always best to be prepared for the worst scenario right. and hope for the best be prepared for uh, the worst scenario and uh, hope for the best really indeed and you also spoke about uh, you know professor john nash uh, a beautiful mind and we want to hold on to that uh, memory but you know when we look around us not much is beautiful at all we have uh, worry and concerns plaguing us uh, online education vaccines for children plenty of questions really but um, let me not uh, digress over here if at all there is a third wave uh, that does hit us uh, dr gafur what will it look like a third wave even if it hits is most likely to be a medium sized wave of probably 1 lakh cases a day mm-hmm. very similar to that of the first wave in the country okay. now we have the experience and facilities of managing even a a, a monstrous second wave right. so that scenario is unlikely and even if a wave happens it we will be in a comfortable position to manage it but that said that said we should be prepared mm. we need to fast and our vaccination of course our like our national vaccination is going at a very fast pace now and right. we are we are managing the largest vaccination program in the world right. and recently uh, we even gave uh, more than 1 crore vaccine a day right. that's more than the population of switzerland right the whole right. Country, population <laughs> switzerland so we are we, we are moving our vaccination at a very fast pace and then the public should never never move away from the covid appropriate behavior the right. masking social distancing and hand washing we should right. never forget the basics the basic. whether there will be a third wave or not depends on the human behavior and the virus behavior and the virus behavior is in the hands of the virus not in our hands but human behavior is in our hands are there lessons that we have learned dr gafur from the pandemic uh, so far anything that you would like to call out as important for us to bear in mind we have learned a lot of lessons during the pandemic mm-hmm. number one the virus is so unpredictable right and number two saving livelihood is as important as saving life 
at the beginning of the pandemic we were all so concerned about lives saving lives hmm. and over the time we realized saving livelihood is as important right we can't get our country or any place locked down forever and hmm. we learned from that we locked down and then we opened up our economy and when hmm. the second wave came we had a short period of lockdown but hmm. we learned a lot during the first wave right and then we realized saving we need to save lives we need to save livelihood reducing the mortality alone is only one component of covid management right we need to save livelihood we need to save our economy if you don't do that there will be very high uh, we will we'll have a, a disastrous economy because of the pandemic we'll have joblessness that's our country is focusing now saving livelihood on one hand saving lives on the other hand mm-hmm. we need to take both together and that's what our country is doing today right now for the benefit of our healthcare professionals tuned in dr gafur what advice would you give them in manner of preparation for the third wave what would you say to them the medical community is already prepared to face a third wave even if it happens mm-hmm. we have the experience of the first wave we have the experience of the second wave it's the states all states should prepare for the third wave mm. whether it happens or not improve the healthcare facilities and adequate manpower educate the public again that if you don't follow protocols a third wave may happen is there a possibility of further waves i know we are not yet in the third wave but then there are also people <laughs> wondering if then you know there are other waves that are emerging in the future how likely is that It's unlikely to have huge waves but this virus is not going to go away anywhere. Hmm. It's going to be with us for years to come. The best case scenario is this virus after a third wave it happens may become endemic. Hmm. The virus will be around us. Probably each and every state will have probably a thousand cases around. Right. It's not going to go away. it will be there in small numbers and in between there will be outbreaks clusters in various places right. and if you don't follow covid appropriate behavior if you don't get ourselves vaccinated that clusters will be huge to call as outbreaks right right you know on a final note um you, I, i recall that in the first podcast that we recorded with you dr gafur you'd use the word armament are there any ideas uh, you believe we have in our armament collective armament that will help us protect ourselves against future strains of the virus again vaccination what we need is we need all the vaccine manufacturers across the world mm-hmm. to manufacture vaccine that includes the new viral strains Right. All the vaccines available in the world today are prepared with the original Wuhan strain. Right. And the virus has changed its behavior significantly. I do agree even the the existing vaccines has got good activity in preventing severe disease. But right. that's today is going to change tomorrow. So hmm. all companies should tweak the component of their vaccine with the new strains and then introduce those new vaccines as boosters at least by early next year. Well I think you've addressed some key points that our healthcare professionals tuned in would have had with respect to the third wave what it's likely to look like some of the lessons uh, and indeed what we need to do to prepare ourselves against one should it be upon us Dr Gafur any final comments for our healthcare professionals as they gear up for uh, another reality perhaps that will always have uh, some strain or the other of this virus any final words for them Yes there will be future viral variants Mm-hmm. and there may be other viruses as well mm-hmm. so we should be always prepared vigilant and one one suggestion to my my friends in the medical community mm-hmm. we doctors are always considered we we always think about saving lives right but we should not think about the socio economic and political aspects of a pandemic mm-hmm. saving lives is as important as saving livelihood Thank or you. saving livelihood is as important as saving lives the medical community should always think about the bigger picture i think golden words for us to internalize and live with thank you so much one more time dr gafur for making this a uh, enlightening experience for all of our listeners on all things covid thank you for more discussions and resources visit gccmc.in 